Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of CCleaner and Advanced System Care 5. Now both of these programs are designed to speed up your computer. Um, they are PC tune-up programs, so basically what they will do is they will get rid of any unneeded um, files or um, unneeded logs that applications leave behind or that they create and it'll um, it will also work with the registry and it will um, get rid of unneeded keys in the registry so both of these programs do those two things and um, there are a few differences so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to review both CCleaner and Advanced System Care 5 as well as compare and contrast them so you kinda know which one is better for you which one you're gonna use more recently I made a tutorial on how to speed up Windows 7 and in that tutorial I recommended that you um, get either one of uh, either Advanced System Care 5 or CCleaner so now I'm just gonna be doing a review of both of these PC tune-up softwares uh, just so you can get an idea of what they do and which one's better for you. So let's start off with CCleaner. CCleaner is a great little program. Uh, it doesn't take up much room and one of the great things about it is sorry about this this always comes up. One of the great things about it is um, how you can easily access everything right from uh, the main screen. What I mean by this is under Internet Explorer there are a few different checkboxes and you can check or uncheck a checkbox and that will either clean or not clean uh, what it says. So uh, basically every single thing that the cleaner does can be customized from right here. And um, it's another nice thing that it does is it organizes it um, with things that Windows creates, so old files Windows creates, which is under the Windows tabs, and old files that other applications that you downloaded create. So Google Chrome, uh, then it has other se another section for other applications, then it has Internet, Multimedia, uh, Utilities, and Windows. So you can just check or uncheck it, and when you're done with that, uh, you have everything selected. Just run the cleaner, shouldn't take too long and um, since I, uh, I I run this very often and I tried to make this video like 25 times um, there's not much that's removed 1.6 ki uh, kilobytes so that's basically nothing and it took about five seconds to complete the scan so that's not too long it's pretty good overall uh, then if you go into the registry tab you can uh, right here you can also select what you want it to search for and what you want it to not search for and then just press scan for issues and this will scan the registry for issues, unneeded keys, um, invalid keys or basically any issues and the registry is a huge thing that really can slow down your computer so this is really important and it finishes pretty quickly and I have no issues found if you have issues just press fix selected issues and it'll run you through something that will uh, quickly, quickly um, fix those issues. Then under tools there are a few options you have under tools. There's uninstall so if you're already here and you want to uninstall something uh, it's easy to uninstall right through here instead of the Windows add or remove a program feature. Startup gives you a list of all the startup programs, Internet Explorer startup extensions, scheduled tasks and uh, uh, context menu and then you have system restore this just gives you a list of all the system restore points that are on your computer and um, you can remove one or um, you can just view them all it's a nice easy tool and it's uh, it's more convenient than having to look it up in the control in the command prompt uh, the last one is drive wiper what that'll do is it'll wipe the free space so when you delete a file there is leftover traces of it on the hard drive and what this will do is it'll just wipe those traces clean so um, so that the traces are no longer there and uh, wiping the free space will not touch any of your current files or applications or anything 
entire drive will completely wipe the whole drive so that's definitely not what you want to do free space only select whatever ones you want and wipe so that's pretty much it for CCleaner uh, there are a lot of different functions that it can do uh, a lot of different things that it can clean but that's all I'm going to go over and um, options you just have some nice settings that you can go through so that's all for CCleaner and now I'm going to go to Advanced System Care 5 now one thing you'll notice about Advanced System Care 5 is the a huge difference it has in the home screen in the main screen of Advanced System Care 5 you just have four simple options uh, as opposed to having many different options and individual checkboxes you have many different options so if you're not exactly um, good with PC tune-up programs then maybe Advanced System Care 5 is right for you I have the pro version uh, you will probably have the free version and um, there are some things that are limited in the free version for example some of those being one major thing that is limited is the ability to schedule tasks in the full version you can schedule tasks and um, you can have them run every week or when at log on or something like that but um, in the free version unfortunately you can't do that so you'll have to uh, remember to just open up the quick care and scan and repair. So to get started, let's open up the Quick Care. And what it gives us is a list of scans that it's going to run when we run the Quick Care. And you can easily uh, you can easily select one or unselect one, and you can go to its settings inside, and then just hover over this arrow over here and press Scan and Repair. now into deep care which is basically all of the individual scans that uh, advanced system care 5 installs are going to be under the deep care so it'll run them all and you can just hover over this arrow and once again press scan and repair and it will uh, it takes a while but it definitely you can definitely notice the difference so what i recommend doing is running the quick care about every week and the deep care about every month and um, so the next option we have is Toolbox. Uh, yours is going to look like this. Um, so Toolbox just gives you all of the scans and features that Advanced System Care 5 has are in the Toolbox. So um, it can, you can see the ones you recently used, Clean, Optimize, Repair, Security, Control. So it's um, it just, it just a nice way to categorize it and you can go into Full Mode where you can see everything. Now, in the free version, you cannot use the registry cleaner, which is actually right over here in the deep scan. They have the deep registry fix, so that's that's not that bad that that's limited. Unfortunately, the internet booster is limited, but I've noticed it doesn't work that much, so you don't need to worry about that. The registry defrag is um you can't use that, and I don't think that helps speed it up that much. I've actually uh, done some research and the registry is almost never fragmented and it can only be very very little and then you have cloned files scanner uh... which just scans for cloned files and actually although this frees up a lot of hard disk space this is pretty dangerous uh, i've had to restore my computer a couple times because of this so this cloned file scanner is dangerous So what that basically means is that you're not missing out on that much by having the free version however unfortunately the major thing you're missing out on is scheduling tasks but anyways uh, if we get over that just do the quick care every week and there's one more feature which is turbo boost now i'm running this right now to um, so that i don't get that error that comes up uh, all the time the, the performance is running low i'm running it now i'm going to turn it off and configure it from scratch so you can see how it's done it's really simple they walk you through the whole thing and they give you nice detailed um, descriptions of what it does so there's the work mode option which boosts your computer for better work experience by terminating some unnecessary services and applications as well as the game mode which boosts your computer much more uh, much more deeply for gaming by terminating more unnecessary system and non-windows services 
The main difference here is work mode will not go into non-Windows services. Game mode will. That's the main difference. So just go into game mode and press next. And over here you can select which ones you want and which ones you don't want. And it gives you a nice description over here. So you can uh, extend the description box and then uh, scroll left to right. So um, just select the ones you want or don't want and when you're up. Uh, by the way, the ones you selected are the ones that are going to be disabled. The ones that are not selected are not going to be disabled. Press the next button. Um, all non-Windows services, select whichever ones you don't need. Press next. Um, I have no background applications, but you would want to select which ones you're running. Themes, you can choose to make it this or keep the current appearance. And finish. Now here you have the option to turn on uh, Turbo Boost at Windows Startup. So if you don't want to do this manually and you have Turbo Boost running all the time, then you want to select that option. Then just press finish. It will turn on Turbo Boost and stop some, uh, stop some background services. And it will also defragment the RAM. So that's all for Turbo Boost. And um, one thing I want to mention real quick is CCleaner. I'm going to open it up and you can see that everything is accessible right through the home screen. All the options can be selected or deselected right through the home screen. So that's great if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, um, the Advanced System Care 5 is, is probably a better choice for you because the default settings work fine. Uh, same with CCleaner, but the default settings uh, really do work fine and uh, Advanced System Care 5 is meant to just forget about it, you use it every once in a while, and it really helps. So that's why I, uh, I think if you don't have much experience with these, Advanced System Care 5 is probably what you want to choose. And if you do, but you really like the interface, uh, there's something else I want to show you, and that's more settings. Now, everything uh, here in CCleaner can be accessed through the settings. And what that is, is the junk files clean. Now, if you look right here, actually the things they're listing are pretty similar. Alright, let me just try to do this. More settings. The things they're listing are kind of similar. The, the recycling bin, you can uh, old prefetch data, and um, it'll also give you a warning message. So, it's really great. You can select things from here as well. It's just that um, it's just that it's easier to select it from CCleaner. Um, but Advanced System Care 5, in my opinion, is a better option. And the reason is, um, my opinion is that because they have more um, more tools that do things besides free up hard disk space. CCleaner is great because it frees up hard disk space and um, that can help improve your computer if you never did, did stuff like this. But Advanced System Care 5 is better in my opinion because it does other things like smart RAM. It can defragment the RAM. Or it can, um, it has a built in startup manager. Or um, it just has a lot more features and a lot more things that it can uh, clean with so it can actually um, if you go into deep care it can um, for example optimize the system optimization it will do a lot of things that doesn't involve just deleting files off the hard drive it'll actually optimize the computer a little bit more than CCleaner can that's why I prefer advanced system care 5 one of the major downsides of advanced system care 5 is the fact that it's a free version. Uh, that's a problem because you don't want a free version. Um, you, you're limited to a lot of things. So that could be a problem. But overall, if you learn to deal with that, I think Advanced System Care 5 is a little bit better. If you like CCleaner, go ahead. That works great as well. That's pretty much it for the review of Advanced System Care 5 and CCleaner. So I tried to compare and contrast them and please leave a comment on how I can improve uh, and what I should do. Please 
comment on the video on any of these products uh, tell me about anything I missed and so that's all thanks for watching